Hi guys, uh, Happy New Year, I hope you had a good one, and uh, this is hoping that 2018 will be an even better year for all of us. And as is customary, whenever there's a new year, you tend to go away from, you know, bad experience from the previous year and try to make them better in the new year. However, I figured why not go the opposite way and turn something good into complete crap. Now, you've seen me um, do a lot of videos on setting up uh, my gaming uh, systems where I take basically old consoles like all of these, um, combine them with newer consoles like these right over here, and combine everything and send all of those signals to my uh, HDTV way over there. Um, and it works great and you should definitely check out those videos if you have any questions about how I connected all of them up to one TV. However, this month let's do the complete opposite. So down here I've got an old Sanyo crap TV. This is um, radio frequency input only. So, worst possible signal that you could possibly have. And I am going to try today to set up this uh, Xbox One console right there, which only has HDMI output. So I'm going to take HDMI from that and connect it to this crap TV using radio frequency. And, you know, it may work, it may not work. However, what I do know is this TV here, according to its manual, has a resolution of 350 horizontal lines. Which, you know, don't quote me on this because I'm not an expert on resolution. You'd kind of think so uh, from what I've done before, but, you know, I'm, I'm a novice when it comes to this stuff. Um, however, 350 horizontal lines should equate to about, uh, give or take, uh, 400 pixels, 500 pixels, thereabout. Uh, and I don't know about the vertical lines, so, yeah. Um, so, roughly four to 500 pixels. Now, I do see two problems, um, or two possible outcomes. Uh, one is the image is going to show, but it's just going to be like a fraction of it, like a corner, or maybe the center, whatever gets, you know, put in frame, and then everything else will just be kind of hiding outside the border. Um, and another, you know, possible outcome is that everything just kind of gets shrunk down and it's going to be really bad. Uh, but that's what we're going to find out today. So let's take a good system and put it on a crap TV. Okay, so uh, first things first, we are going to need uh, some cables. We're going to need to convert the signal from HDMI all the way down to uh, RF. Um, so uh, let's see what we got. Um, so this is just several different converters and so on that I've just been collecting through the years. So this is uh, VGA to HDMI, we don't need that. Uh, it's a connect extension. This is HDMI to SCART, so that's one step of the way. Uh, oh, that's just a region, converts PAL to NTNC and back. Uh, D terminal, which is a Japanese thing. Um, S. Well, this is more like a. It's actually from a capture card, but it's a multimedia to S video composite. We don't need that. Um, this is an upscaler, a really cheap one. So that goes from composite to HDMI, which is the opposite of what we want. Um, USB extension. Connect. Power, just a SCART extension, 
Um, this is an RF composite. Um, okay, so it takes composite in and then sends out RF. So that's something we might be able to use because that's at least giving us RF to the TV and then we need composite to go back in there. Uh, SCART switch box. Uh, we have, what's this? Um, HDMI to composite. Okay, so we don't need this anymore because we've got HDMI to composite. Um, and uh, uh, what's this? It's, uh, composite to RF. So we'll do that one instead of this one just because it's less cumbersome. And uh, you can see here we got a, a splitter, HDMI splitter. Um, so I think I'll put that on the side there as well because while I'll be able to send RF to the TV, um, I won't be able to actually capture any of that image unless I, you know, I could film the TV, but uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be the best, you know, when you point a camera straight into a, a TV, you get that kind of blurry interference. So, if I wanted to capture anything on my Elgato, using the really crappy resolution, um, I would need to take the HDMI and split it. So that, you know, I could uh, basically go all the way down from Xbox One HDMI all the way down to RF, but then I would have to do the same going back, so RF all the way up, uh, but not using any of my professional video equipment because that would, you know, stabilize and kind of fix the image as much as possible. But anyways, this is good enough for now. Um, this is, you know, in case I want to do something fun later on. But uh, let's start with this and see where that gets us. Now, it's not going to be enough just to have the converters. We're also going to need to have the actual signal going through the converters. So, this is just analog cables. Uh, first thing we need, we, uh, uh, we need a composite to composite. So, that should be easy enough to find. Uh, so, right there. And then we're going to need RF, um, RF cable to go to the TV. So I'm actually not sure if I have any RF cables in here. So let's see, I might have to steal one if I don't have one here. RF cable isn't exactly what I'm uh, you know, collecting the most of. Mm, no. So I might have to uh, steal one from uh, uh, from my RF systems, so we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure out something. There you go. Got another HDMI cable as well, so that'll go from the Xbox to the HDMI uh, uh, downscaler. So search continues for RF cable. Boom! I actually had a. Uh, a box laying around of these, so uh, we'll just take one. And let's go with white because that's nice. There we are. Okay, so now we got pretty much everything that we're going to need, hopefully. Um, so let's just start assembling how this is going to look. So we got. HDMI going in here and then that is connected to the Xbox One 
and then from here we're going to have a composite this feels so wrong you know I've spent a lot of time and money trying to uh, get the best possible image quality that I can afford and get out of the systems that I own so uh, you know this is this feels wrong on so many levels but in any case we now have HDMI signal going through these cables right here which are then going to go into this box and hopefully we'll get a really shitty quality picture as a result so that's going to go in here like so and then we're gonna need power to that so there we are so we've got two power sources here and now we've got RF coming out and channel select, so I think we'll do channel 3 and then we got this bad boy here so 2 TV that is this one so we'll attach that And now we have HDMI going through this RF uh, cable right here. So uh, let's hook all of this up. Okay, so uh, just to show you exactly what I've done here, uh, you have my Xbox One right here. That is sending its signal to these switch boxes. So you can see here that I have that set up to accept the Xbox One signal. That again is sending the signal up to this splitter box behind here. One of those cables is going into the TV. The other one goes over the moose and down here into that HDMI downscaler. And I've got the power source running up here to a uh, USB hub. Then I got the composite cables going down here into that splitter box. Uh, not splitter box, but uh, RF uh, downscaler. And power cable coming up here and attaching to the power circuit on the back there. Then I got the RF cable coming up around here to the TV, which is of course connected in the wall. And as you may be able to see here, there is only a single connection, and that is RF. This is a really crappy TV. So, 25-inch uh, TV versus 4K Samsung Curved. So I switched everything off because, uh, you know, I want this to be a true test. So, uh... Let's start by turning the TVs on. So let's see here. We've got uh, TV. There you go. And then uh, let's put this on. Uh, actually, let's see. Yeah, so uh, there you go. That's on the TV. That works perfectly as you would expect. But of course, the real question is does it get transferred to this? The wonderful sound of static. Um, oh, it's channel 4. Hang on. Um, channel. Channel, 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 channel. Ah, there we go. So, channel 3. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so yeah, it, it just downscaled most of it. Uh, if you see up here you can see Batman um, in the corner but if you look here there's no edge behind Batman so it's basically like cutting off this much um, all around the screen it seems. 
So, uh, yeah, let's uh, take that all in in uh, glory. <laughs> so I guess if you know if if you have if you have one of the newer consoles and you only have a crappy TV, this is the way to do it. Um, or if you just want to have some fun, which I am going to do now, I am going to play some PUBG on RF signal, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I might make a, a video on that entirely, but yeah. So that's how it looks, and that's how that looks. <laughs> so uh, again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Till then, have a happy new year.